tryout. I'm going to show you in Petlas version 4 how to create the rain data and to print pet profile uh, here that is blank right now. Okay. One way is to manually enter distances and heights. You can get those numbers from topology maps. Start from one, start from one site, enter distance, enter height, and repeat this. More data you enter, more precise your profile will look like. But of course, we won't do this manually. We will import some database and create terrain profile automatically. First, let's check geographic defaults. In most cases, we will use datum, not an ellipsoid. For latitude, longitude, we will choose northern western hemisphere. Now, terrain database. Now, when our defaults are set, let's import map data in terrain database. You can set a primary and secondary terrain database. Primary should be higher resolution. See the picture. More precise RSEC you use, a more reliable terrain profile you will have. That's picture on the right. Arc minutes or R seconds are units for expression of small angles. 30 RSECs, a left picture, is not so good. But hey, better something than nothing. That's why we will use this resolution for second database. And I'll just point it to the folder where I copy Petlo CD for North and South America. It's a global 30 second database. Let's keep primary for now. Okay, let's create a profile. Back to summary tab now. Enter some coordinates for site 1 and site 2. Just make sure they are from the right hemisphere. Go to terrain data, operation, generate profiles, generate, and voila. We have our profile now. You can see here what files are used. It says it's secondary database. I can also print profile. You can see line of sight from one, one side to other. And since I didn't set antenna heights, they are set at ground level. Let's configure primary database right now. For primary, I will use SRTM data. At the end of this video, it showed how to download it and where from. Right now, our SRTM database is empty and I'll add downloaded files. You must add each file you will use. Go to directory where you put your files, choose and click open. Of course, you can add them all. I'll select all, minus first that's already add. Open. Uh, here you can see edges of each file. I'll scroll down, you can see them all. Oh no, I missed left part of the screen. Uh, here it is. Let's see now how it works. Okay, again, terrain data, operations, generate profile. Remember this profile how it looks like right now. And this is new one. You see how it used primary database now, but where data was missed, it takes secondary database. And then primary again. Basically, secondary database fill the gap of the primary. Print profile. Oh no, look how our line of sight is damaged. That's because we use more precise database since it takes average of each square, not maximum heights. Also, nearby sites. See how it's more precise. Now, 
now we can look for needed antenna heights for line of sight criteria. This peak is problematic and to avoid it it said we need 200 meters tower. So not gonna happen. Let's see our profile back. Now we have line of sight but main issue was to see differences due to different databases. There's one more thing left to show is that's case with only primary database when there is no secondary one. General profile and we have a problem now. See how profile stopped at 900 meters due to missing data. Let's generate profile one more time, but this time we will check box span missing files. And here we go. See, situation is slightly better. We do have our profile, but all it does was approximation of missing data. We can also print profile. You see left part of profile is ok, but right is not so good. So let's put back our secondary database, because as you see we need it. And let's generate profile again. This is setup that we're going to use. Primary, better, secondary, worse. Together, ok. Rest of the video will show you how to download SRTM data. Open a browser and type dds.cr.usgs.gov/srtm/ don't forget last slash. You are now in index of database. You can see what are these link, but there's much more documentation if you are interested. Let's go to version 2.1. SRTM1 number represents arc seconds. Remember, choose a region. USA is divided total into seven regions because there is so many files. I'll choose only region 4. Click region 4. And now all you need is download files you want to use. Click on each file and save it. I'm going to skip some work right now because it takes so much time to wait download all files. Here. I have downloaded all files of 35th and 36th latitude of region 4 and put them in this folder. Go now to the file, right click and extract here. It's down now. We can do that with all files. Just hold shift key, right click, extract here. All files will be extracted in this folder. Tick tack, tick tack, tick tack. And when it's over, we can delete the fit files because we don't need them anymore. And this one too. That's all. See you in next video.